Greetings, my name is Matthias Schaller. I'm the director of The Origin. Um, yeah, I want to show you how we've done this um, this planet at our Facebook site and yeah, let's get started. I started to create uh, two polygon spheres um, and I was um, scaling the second one a little bit so it is a little bit bigger than the first one. Um, the second one which is selected now is the atmosphere. The, um, the other one below is the uh, the base um, the base sphere for the uh, for the uh, for the landscape so for the uh, for the earth map so the second thing I've done was to create this um, text here the origin um, yeah I used the text function um, with the option box and in the bevel mode get some smooth edges um, well you should always if you make such a um, picture or animation with text with 3d text you should always um, um, use the bevel, some bevel on the edges um, because the light reacts much better with it so um, and the th second thing is you should always use some texture on such um, things. So let's come to the texturing. For that I've downloaded some maps. Um, a Venus map and a Earth map. Um, I downloaded it um, on planetpixelemporium.com um, and you also find there a specular map. You need the specular map, the color map, and the bump map. And this Venus map. So, in the hyper shade, I created a um, layer shader um, for the base sphere. Um, and yeah, let's get started with the with the Earth map. Um, I use the Earth map that I've downloaded. Um, I was connecting. I connected it to a remap, and um, I raised up the amount of redness. So you can see it here, and yeah. can see the difference there. So it was before. Oh, yeah, this after. So good. Um, and I wanted to make the water part a little bit um, structured. So I decided to use another a planet map from the Venus um, to get more details in the water because um, behind the planet there is a dying sun and um, in this process process it loses the complete um, amount of water so we have um, a very death um, surface uh, there where the water was and um, so, yeah, I used a transparency, transparency map to mask out the water and to get our water back um, I used this map here, Venus map, um, put that into a layered shader, a layer, layer texture and um, put a some kind of red brown color on it with a multiply blend mode. So I've connected that to my blend, blend 2 and um, 
yeah and the last thing I've did was the connection from the um, earth bump map to the land land mass um, yeah and these two materials I've created um, yeah I've connected them to the layer shader and so that's it that's the first material for our dying planet now let's come to the atmosphere the atmosphere is very simple too um, yeah I use the sampler info if you are a Cinema 4D user um, you know that um, sampler info too but it has another name in Cinema 4D in Cinema 4D it called, it's called Fresnel um, yeah I used the sampler info, connected that to the remap node, remap value new node, that's important to say. So, and I connected the facing radio, ratio, facing rate, ratio, blah, whatever, <laughs> um, put that into the input value, and I set there a gradient with three colors. Color one was uh, that. Oh, let's change it to RGB so that you can see the color settings. So, yeah. Then in the center, I've created that color. And here in the end, a black one. So. That's it. And uh, well, one thing I've done too was um, I raised up the transparency so that there is only the, um, the, the light on the surface. So before I show you the settings of our lighting, um, I want to show you my example scene. Um, yeah, where you can see the the problems with the lighting. Um, if you use a directional light, which uh, I'm using very often for space scenes, um, you have the problem that um, even the the sun um, is very high in the intensity. Um, you won't see the light from the back side well, this from our position here so let's run that oh, you only see black <laughs> um, so to solve the problem I used more than one directional light I used four directional lights to solve the problem um, I used four directional lights um, let me show you that. Each of them with another with another rotation, so that we get more light. So and get light behind the, the line behind this line here. So um, this looks much better. Um, this one for the bottom. And the next one for the left and one for the right and then you have this um, lighting so let's get back to our original scene these are the settings um, I start with the first light here um, 0 0.311 the intensity a red brown color like this 
um, with the fuse channel and specular on, and the rate with the ray trace shadows on. So the others are very sim similar to that. Last here is a little bit different. Um, I use there a little bit of a yellow color. So this is the one of, uh, which is coming from the top here. So the lighting of our origin text is, is very simple. I use spotlight, simple spotlight with an orange color um, with a big cone angle, um, a high amount of intensity. Mm, yeah, here from the back to get a little bit of this uh, orange uh, look um, which the sun is creating. Um, there is no sun yet. Um, I will show you how to create a, a realistic sun, um, animated realistic sun with particles um, in the next tutorial. Um, so, and the second lighting point here is uh, spotlight, the high intensity of 10, um, which uh, does only a specular. Um, and a high cone angle. Um, yeah, and with some ray trace shadows. The same for the orange spotlight. So um, the last light. Oh no, there's one more. Um, this light is for um, it's the visible light. Or two words here. Um, for that, I used this uh, open up this orange color with an intensity of, of one. Um, I used depth math shadows. Um, that is important because. Um, this effect doesn't work, this fog um, doesn't work um, with uh, the ray trace shadow, so I use the depth map, map, <laughs> depth map, map shadows. Oh, I'm sorry. So um, I turned on the, the light fog. The color is white, density 0.578. Turn on uh, this auction box, color based transparency, um, and this is turned off, fast drop off. And um, so the last light in our scene is, our, is also a visible light. First, um, a little bit yellow in it. With the fuse and the specular turned on. Um, also with the light fog. But there you have an orange light fog. Oh, sorry. And a circular ramp in it. Um, That's the color. The second color is white. And I remember right, yeah. So let's get back to our light. Mm, fog type is normal. Fog radi radius, radius, radius. <laughs> um, 2.547. Fog intensity, 1.584. And no shadows. That's very important because if you use shadows, um, the shadows are stopping the, the light. Uh, then you you won't see that this, the light. And, um, if you use um, the shadows, 
So don't use shadows for this light. It's the it's part of the atmosphere. So I think that's all. Mm, I can show you my render settings. They're very easy. I turn up on the uh, my software renderer. Um, for for this uh, simple scene, we don't uh, need a mantle ray. Um, the mantle ray shader, so um, you can use some different format for that. Something like JPEG or TIFF. Um, you can use an alpha channel um, to set some uh, space behind the scene. Um, yeah. I set that to a HD value and um, set the quality to highest quality here. Ash and utilizing. So, yeah, I think uh, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, write into the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.